All right, let's get some work done, y'all. I'm gonna start over here and then probably go through some of this as well and then save this side probably for the next couple days coming up this week because it is going to be warmer in the high 40s so it'll be uh it'll be nicer weather to be going in and out all right a quick progress update made a little bit of a dent took about 15 minutes we're gonna keep going Busy's over here helping me out. Another 15 minutes. We've got this pile left. My pile to sort through kind of grew. And then this is another pile that I'm going to come back for later. So once we get all of this cleared up, that'll look nice. And then um, I wanted to work for two hours, so we might come back and start on this small pile as well. All right, so final update. It's probably close to like 310, 315. We dropped off some of the items that I can't do anything with to Goodwill. So this area is clean. Um, took the box that I'm gonna sort through home. And then these are the next items that I'm gonna sort through that I'll probably pick up in the next couple days. And then next weekend, we will start tackling um, probably these two piles, maybe three. Um, I don't want to do more than two hours at a time so I don't become overwhelmed or really tired. Um, but yeah, so I'll just start from the inside and work my way towards the outside. So keep an eye on the channel. I will be showing some items that are available for sale if you guys have interest. So guys, definitely keep an eye on the channel. I will be posting videos of like 10 to 15 items that are available for sale if you want the item. Comment on the video what number you're interested in and then give me your uh, PayPal email or email me directly and then I can, I'm doing everything through PayPal invoicing. I'm not doing Cash App or any of that other stuff. I need to keep it as streamlined as possible. Um, for my business. So hopefully you guys can understand where I'm kind of coming from with that. But yeah, so we'll have a lot more to go through. I'm excited to get a lot of this on eBay. Some of it can go to Amazon. So I'll be sending some into Amazon as well. And yeah, we'll just slowly start tackling this um, and working on, you know, transitioning some of my inventory at the house too before the baby gets here. So it will be a work in progress. But you guys will get to watch along the way in the videos. Hi guys. So to wrap up this video, I wanted to show, I want to just kind of put the feelers out and show some of the books that I do have available from the storage unit that maybe some of you would want for personal use or crafting or something like that. So I did want to just take a minute and show, uh, I have three different book lots. If you're interested in the lot, just put lot one, which I'm going to show right now, or you can put lot two or lot three in the comment section of this video. I'll reply to your comment with my email, but if you could just make sure you're also communicating to me your information because I will send a PayPal invoice. So just kind of, I'm going to do a price plus media mail shipping, and then we'll get it out to you. <clears throat> so here we have this London lot. And I just couldn't like donate it because it was so pretty on the inside with some of like the illustrations and that right there, like that is gorgeous. Uh, even for book crafts, this would be really pretty. Um, and this is from 1963, which you can see right there in the copyright. And then throughout the book, there's just these little uh, London illustrations and I just couldn't donate it. I know there's someone out there that either wants it or wants to use it for book crafts. Um, so I will leave this up and you can comment in the video and let me know and I'll let you know. It's just going to be first come first serve. So whoever comments first um, will get the book lot and then here's the back inside page area and then the cover I mean overall it's in in my opinion it's in good condition 
And then the second book that will go with this lot is The City of London, which my ring light is making it a little difficult to see, but this has the dust jacket and a dust jacket protector, which you, you know, you could definitely take it off and use the dust jacket for whatever you wanted. Um, it is X library. All of these are going to be X library. So you'll have, you know, that in the back of the book. Uh, but overall, like it was just really pretty with the different pictures on the inside of the book and the different maps and illustrations and just different things that talks about throughout the book. Um, like right here, oh, I think I just missed it. Oh, right here. And right here, there's some more photos. So if anyone just has interest in London literature, this is the city of London, Mary Catherine Borer. And this book is from 1978. It's the first American edition. So these two books are going to be lot one, and I will be selling this set of two books for $8 plus media mail shipping. So please comment below lot number one and shoot me an email that you commented for lot number one. I'll also reply with my email so that way you know just in case you can't find my email. My email is always in the description of every single video just so you guys know how to contact me, okay? Lot number two is going to be like fish sea related stuff. So I have a coral reefs book this is going to be really cool for like crafters. There's just tons of black and white photos. And then there's tons of color and black and white photos. Some of the pages are loose in this book. Um, but just because of like all the cool knowledge and things inside the book, I just like, I couldn't pitch it. I had to at least give it a shot and see if anyone had an interest in having the book. It, uh, this is the back of it. It is X Library, okay? And it is from, it's from 1982. The second book in this lot is Freshwater Fishes. This is X Library as well. And this one is from 1991. And a game against, uh, a game. And again, same situation, just really cool black and white illustrations. And then we've got different black and white and colored, different black and white and colored photos throughout the book as well. It's just really cool, even if you're a crafter or maybe you're into fish stuff and this is something that you would like to have on your shelf or in your personal home library, there's some maps towards the back that show the, the different area. There's this, and then that's what the back kind of looks like. So, so those two, and then the last book in that lot is Sport Fish of the Gulf of Mexico. So this is color. This is all in color book. And just, I mean, the illustrations are just awesome. A lot of good information here. And I just wanted to give it a shot for anyone that might be interested. And uh, this is not X Library. I would consider this probably very good condition other than some creases and, you know, some damage there um, from the cover. There's no writing inside. And it is from 2002. So it's a newer book. And it looks like the publisher was Florida Sportsman. You're going to get all three of these for $12 plus media mail shipping. So please comment below for lot number two for the fish. And this is $12 plus media mail shipping. I will reply to your comment with my email. You must send me your information, meaning your email, your name, your YouTube name, your address. Send me your information so I can properly send you a PayPal invoice. I need you guys to give me all that information, not in a comment, but in an email. But just let me know. You can claim it below by saying lot number two. And when I reply with my email, then send me an email of all your information. Okay. And finally, I have a really big lot of shrubs, botany, like flowers, 
just a huge lot. Uh, this is a lot of seven books. This is a lot of seven books. I will show them very, very quickly. I don't want this video to be too long at the end, but I'll show them very quickly. If you have interest in this lot, this lot is going to be $20 and media mail shipping. So if you're interested in lot three, put lot number three, I will reply with my email. Please email me all your information and then I will send you a PayPal invoice. So this first one is Winter Botany, Identification Guide to Native Trees and Shrubs. This is X Library. It is a reprint from 1918, so this one is from 1931. This is very vintage. This is an older book. Overall good condition, and you've got your black and white illustrations there, okay? This one has no dust jacket. It's Recognizing Native Shrubs. This is X Library, and it is from 1966. Same situation, black and white illustrations throughout the book. Okay, and then that's what it looks like in the back. Again, no dust jacket. This is this is how you're going to get it. Tree Flowers of Forest Park and Street. This is also X Library. It's a little bit more worn condition, but this just is nothing but illustrations and pictures. This is what the front cover kind of looks like, a little bit more close up. And the outside pages it's it's overall in really good condition but this is what the inside illustrations kind of look like next is easy roses this is not x library this is actually in very very good condition and it's from 1995 so it's a little bit more modern book and it's just a book full of different roses okay next is garden let me get the glare out of the way. Garden plants. This one is not X Library, but it does have like a little dust jacket protector thing on it, but you could easily take that off. And this is what the inside looks like. It's a lot of different information on garden plants. And this one is from 1999. So that's going to be part of the law. The All Season Garden. This is not a library book. And this is what the inside of it looks like. Some of these pages are pretty, the hinges are pretty worn. So some of these pages might start falling out. So I would grade this probably acceptable condition. The spine's pretty, pretty worn on this one. And this one is from 1987. And this last one is not X Library. This is Bulbs. This one's actually in really good condition too. It's very good condition. There's a lot of different pictures. This one is from 1993. Okay, so if you want all of those books, that is going to be $20 plus media mail shipping, lot number three. Please comment down below. I'm going to give this a shot and kind of throw these videos out there every now and then as I'm going through my death pile. So these types of lots or books will be at the end of the video of the death pile videos. So just kind of keep that in mind and we'll see. We'll see if you guys like that style. If you don't, I could definitely look at making a separate video of just books that I have available and you can comment to claim the books and then I will shoot you my email and we can kind of go back and forth with getting your information and sending a PayPal invoice. So that's all I have guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.